Hi, my name is Demetrius Cambanis and I'm from Quantum. Today we're going to be learning what the oceanic nitrogen cycle is through our short animation summary. As promised, 100% of the ad revenue generated from this video would be going towards charities and causes we believe in because the next big idea might just come from someone we help. Let's get right into it. First things first, there are some key terms we need to understand before we can continue. These are aerobic environment requirements, they include molecular oxygen, high surface area media such as live rock, small media, etc., and aerobic bacteria. Anaerobic environment requirements include no molecular oxygen, thick porous media such as thick bricks or a deep sand bed, anaerobic bacteria, and reduced carbon sources, which we'll denote as CX. The nitrogen cycle summary is to convert nitrogenous waste into chemically inert nitrogen gas, but it is not as simple as a one-step process. The first step is to convert nitrogenous waste into ammonia and ammonium, which we call TAN, also known as total ammonia nitrogen. This requires aerobic bacteria, microbes, and oxygen. More on that in a future video as it is a very interesting topic. TAN is converted to nitrite through bacteria and oxygen, which lowers the relative toxicity and consumes oxygen in the process. Nitrite is converted to nitrate, which is less toxic and deemed pretty safe chemically speaking. Unfortunately, high levels of nitrate can cause algal blooms and put stress on your aquarium's inhabitants, so you want to have safe levels. Under anaerobic conditions, nitrate is reduced into chemically inert nitrogen gas and the reduced carbon sources, which we have denoted as CX, are oxidized into carbon dioxide. This completes a chemical reaction called a redox reaction that is pretty in-depth and will be on a video on its own. In summary, the nitrogenous waste is converted to nitrogen gas through this cycle. This reduces toxicity and allows the system to become much healthier, causing fewer deaths and an overall improved environment. If we take a look at this part of the nitrogen cycle, it is absorbing a lot of dissolved oxygen. This is why we always recommend having a well oxygenated aquarium. Having a well oxygenated aquarium reduces stress caused on fish and other aerobic organisms. This can save your livestock and reduces bioload stress on your aquarium. If we take a look at denitrification a little more in depth, we see that the nitrate reacts with the reduced carbon sources to produce nitrogen gas and carbon dioxide. The nitrogen gas is inert, meaning it is unreactive under these conditions. It is free to bubble out of your aquarium. Carbon dioxide, on the other hand, is reactive. It has the ability to react with water to form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid lowers pH. In order to combat this, we recommend having an alkalinity of 7 dKH plus and a pH of 8.2 plus. This allows your natural buffers to kick in and stop the CO2 from lowering pH. That is the Oceanic Nitrogen Cycle short animated summary finished. The next video is Denitrification Explained. If you're interested in learning more about what we have to offer, check out the links in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to post on our Facebook group, The Q. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe and ring that bell to stay notified. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.